It is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Friday, May the 27th, 2016, brought to you to date by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. In the state of Texas, University Interscholastic League competition at Austin this week, Chris Flores of Mule Shoe High School won first and poetry interpretation and Allegra Mora was fourth also in poetry interpretation. Mario De Hoyce won fifth and prose interp and Lizette Mojica was sixth in headline writing. The coaches for the speech students at Mule Shoe High School are Louis Pacheco and Carrie Moore and Jennifer Gresham was Lizette Mojica's coach. We want to say congratulations to all of the Muleshoe High School students who participated in the state of Texas, the great big state of Texas, UIL academic events. Again, Chris Flores first and Portrait and Terp, Allegra Mora fourth, and Mario De Hoyas fifth and Pros and Terp, and Lizette Mojica, six in headline writing in the state of Texas. The Muleshoe Volunteer Fire Department responded to a house fire at Darren Box residence around 2 o'clock Thursday morning at 906 West 7th Street here in Muleshoe. Crews worked until about 6 o'clock on Thursday morning to extinguish that fire that gutted the Darren Box home. Darren made it out of the blaze safely, but we are sad to hear that he lost his dog in the fire. A state fire marshal is expected to be in Milshoe Friday to investigate the cause of the fire. Late Thursday afternoon, fire crews from the Milshoe Volunteer Fire Department were called back to the home as high winds reignited the fire that burned the fence on the north side of the property. Friday, Milshu schools dismiss for the summer, and Milshu ISD has early dismissal at noon Friday. End of school faculty and staff meeting is at 1.30 Friday afternoon in the Milshu High School Auditorium, the Kerry Moore Auditorium, and we will be there with our video camera to film the highlights of that awards assembly for the faculty and staff. Monday is Memorial Day, and the Onita Wagner Senior Citizen Center will be closed. Frying Cox, the post office, the federal and state offices, and many other businesses here in Milshoe in our area. We will not be doing a mule train all next week. Clyde Vaughn, 80, of Tulia, the father of Debbie Hutto of Lubbock, formerly of Milshu, died Thursday. You can send your online condolences to cornerstonefunerals.com. Cornerstone Funeral Home Directors out of Tulia will conduct the funeral services for Clyde Vaughn. Please remember his wife and his daughter, Debbie Hutto of Lubbock, formerly of Milshu, in your prayers. Clyde Vaughn, 80, of Tulia, the father of Debbie Hutto of Lubbock, died on Thursday following a very lengthy illness of cancer. Lavelle Beller Hall, daughter of the late Mr. Miss Jinx Beller of Muleshoe, died Wednesday night of cancer in Newport Beach at the home of her daughter, Terry. She had recently moved to Newport Beach to be near her family from Hearn, Texas, where she had lived for many years. 
Lavelle Beller was reared here in Milshu, and her parents were Zora May and Jinx Beller of Milshu. She also is survived by a son, Brant. She was preceded in death by her parents, Jinx and Zora May Beller of Milshu, a sister, Juanine Beller Ragstall, and an aunt and uncle of Milshu, J.T. and Ida Mae Schaffner. She has a cousin, Avalie Peeler of Hereford, formerly of Milshu. Please remember all of the family of Lavelle Beller Hall in your prayers. The high in Milshu on Thursday was 86. The low was 43. At 7 o'clock on graduation morning, it was 43 degrees here in Milshu officially. And now a message from our sponsor, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications. Secure your life with fast technologies available through Five Area, whether you're in Milshu or anywhere in the world. Security and automation services for your home, farm, or business available now through your hometown company, Five Area. Plans starting now at $20 per month. Fast Technologies offers live and recordable video surveillance. Control your door locks and garage doors, whether you're in your recliner, around the corner, or in Dallas. Lighting control and motion detection. Door and window sensors. Receive alerts through text, email, or phone. Plans again starting at $20 per month. Call today, 5 Area, 806 272 5533, or go by their website at 5area.com. They will also be happy to give you an on site demo, so stop by their offices today, 302 Uvalde Street, on the west edge of Mule a DSL internet connection is required that's home farm and business security and automation services available through fast technologies at five area call 806-272-5533 for more information well, looking at our forecast for today on Friday for the Mule Shoe area, more of the same sunny conditions this afternoon. High around 82 degrees, breezy with a west wind 10 to 15 miles per hour, increasing to 20 to 25 miles per hour Friday afternoon. Then mostly clear tonight, low around 51 Friday night. West northwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, becoming north 5 to 10 miles per hour. Friday evening. Saturday, another warm day, high near 87 degrees, sunny conditions, north winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming south in the afternoon, so calmer on Saturday, mostly clear, low around 61, southeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Then our forecast will change Sunday throughout the rest of next week. A slow-moving storm system will come into the region throughout much of next week, beginning on Sunday. A cold front will come in uh, early next week and will serve as the focus for widespread precipitation for our entire air area. Storm chances will begin late Sunday, lasting through Thursday. Locally heavy rain will be possible nearly every day next week. Sunday, the forecast calls for Milshu a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms, partly sunny otherwise with a high near 85 degrees south winds 10 to 15 miles per hour Sunday night a 30 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms mostly cloudy low around 59 degrees southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour on Memorial Day Monday a 30 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms partly sunny high near 84 degrees south winds around 10 miles per hour Monday night a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms partly cloudy low around 58 Tuesday a chance of showers and thunderstorms partly sunny high near 82 degrees south Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming east in the afternoon. Tuesday night, a chance of showers and thunderstorms again, mostly cloudy, low around 57. Cooler Wednesday, a chance of showers and thunderstorms, partly sunny, high near 76 degrees. Wednesday night, another chance of showers and thunderstorms, mostly cloudy, low around 55. Thursday, a chance of rain again, partly sunny, high near 76. So looking good for some rain chances and thunderstorms beginning Sunday during the day with a 40% chance of rain, partly
partly sunny, high near 85. A 30% chance of rain Sunday evening, continuing through Memorial Day, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for the Muleshoe area. But again, breezy today on Friday for Muleshoe, high near 82 degrees, sunny conditions. Winds increasing to 20 to 25 miles per hour this afternoon, mostly clear. Tonight, low around 51. Sunny on Saturday, high near 87. North winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, mostly clear. Saturday night, low around 61. Then our rain chances begin Sunday throughout all next week here in the Muleshoe area. Five area telephone, West Plains Telecommunications has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. Muleshoe City Water Park, located in the new city park here in Muleshoe, near the intersection of Avenue D and 16th Street, will open for this summer, Tuesday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Admission is $3 for all ages. Even if you come in and just watch your children swim, you will be charged the $3. Tanner Bales, the manager, says. And ours will be Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 1 to 6. They will be closed every Monday. Friday and Saturday hours are 1 to 8. Tuesday nights will be ladies' night, 6.30 to 8. Thursday is moms and toddlers, and that will be 6.30 to 7.30. And Friday night is teen night, 8.30 to 10 at the Muleshoe City Water Park, opening for the first time this summer, Tuesday afternoon at 1 o'clock. We'll be back with more mule train news, and we'll tell you about a new business being built here in Muleshoe. Libby Leo and Angelita Toscano want you to join them at Leo's Mexican Food Restaurant at 1010 West American Boulevard in Muleshoe, Texas. Come and eat anything from quesadillas to grilled cheese and the best hamburgers in town. Open every day of the week. I especially like the bean and cheese burritos. I have traveled throughout Texas, New Mexico, and Colorado and never eaten at a better Mexican food restaurant than the original Leo's. This is Julia Reynolds and I know that the original Leo's is the best. And this edition of the Mule Train News is brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant, along with the First Bank, where Tommy and Phil and all their employees wish our area graduates in the class of 2016 the very best of luck in your future. Show your school spirit now with the First Bank School Spirit MasterCard debit cards available now at the First Bank right here in Muleshoe. Show your team spirit and earn cash for your school every time you swipe your card. Get the Muleshoe Mules, Dimmit Bobcats, or Bovina Mustang School Spirit Spirit MasterCard now at 202 South 1st Street here in Muleshoe, 806-272-4515. Available now at the First Bank, member FDIC. Shimon's Body Shop is in their new state-of-the-art location at 425 North 1st Street here in Muleshoe as they just moved across the street from their old location. Call 806-272-4408. Shipments has been serving the Muleshoe area as well as the South Plains and Panhandle regions for 47 years. They work with all insurance companies to just speak with Todd, Brenner, or any of their friendly staff members. Shipments offers auto body repair, 24-hour wrecker service, paintless dent removal, windshield replacement and repair, replace headliners, recondition headlights, vehicle customization and restoration, and full car detailing. They have a state-of-the-art frame machine, lift, paint booth, along with the facilities to easily handle your semis, travel trailers, boats, planes, motorcycles, and golf carts. Shipments Autoplex is also on site where they offer a car dealership to take trade-ins. If they don't have what you're looking for, they can find the make and model of the vehicle you want and help you get financed. Financing Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex in their new location here in Muleshoe, 425 North 1st Street. Call Todd Brenner or any of their staff members, 806 272 4408. Muleshoe, Spring Lake Earth, Sudan, and last but a graduation is today, Friday, May the 27th. And we want to say a big congratulations to all of the graduates. 
valedictorian of the Muleshoe High School graduating class of 2016 is Lizette Mahika. Lizette is the daughter of Gilbert and Olga Mohica, and her grade point average is 4.2313. The salutatorian is Cheyenne Carpenter. Cheyenne is the daughter of Jeff and Zaina Carpenter, and her grade point average is 4.1255. Also, over at Spring Lake Earth, they will graduate at 7 o'clock in the Spring Lake Earth School Auditorium on Friday night. And the valedictorian is Reagan Mendoza. The salutatorian at Spring Lake Earth is Trailer Jackson. And Reagan's weighted grade point average is 101.54387. She is the daughter of Frank and Jamie Mendoza. And Trailer's grade point average weighted is 101.4206. And he is the son of Sam Jackson and Tammy Jackson. Reagan will attend Texas Tech University and major in speech pathology. In high school, she has participated in band, serving as the varsity band drum major at Spring Lake Earth. She is a state contender this year in the University Interscholastic League Persuasive Speaking Competition and Regional UIL in Science. She is a member of the National Honor Society and FCCLA. Reagan Mendoza of Spring Lake Earth High School has also been a cheerleader and participated in cross-country basketball, track, and tennis. Trailer Jackson will be attending Texas A&M in the fall, majoring in veterinary medicine. In high school, he has participated in football, basketball, track, baseball, and rodeo. Trailer has been the student council vice president, National Honor Society president, Plainview FFI district secretary, and chapter FFI vice president at Spring Lake Earth. Sudan valedictorian is Patricia Azua. The salutatorian at Sudan is Jose Luis Melendez. The last day of school at Sudan was Thursday, and graduation is Friday night at 8 in the Sudan High School Auditorium. Over at Last Buddy, the valedictorian at Last Buddy High School is Gabe Beckerink, and he is going to go to Cornell University in Ithaca, New York next fall. Gabe is the son of Matt and Nancy Beckerink of Last Buddy. Salutatorian is Micah Vera. She is the daughter of Aricio and Teresa Vera. Eleven graduates will receive their high school diplomas Friday night at 5.30 at Last Buddy School Auditorium. The last day of school at Last Buddy was Wednesday, according to Alicia Pacheco. The last day of school at Amherst was Thursday, and graduation was Thursday at Amherst High School and Junior High. The junior high graduates graduated at 6 on Thursday evening, and then the Amherst High School graduation was held that same evening at 8 o'clock. Valedictorian is Juliana Araguin, and she is the daughter of Grigoberto and Gloria Araguin, and salutatorian is Francis Rodriguez, daughter of Abel and Georgia Hernandez. Congratulations to all of the graduates of our area high schools and also universities and colleges in our area. 
and the salutatorian and valedictorians of our area high schools are being recognized by Parkview Nursing Care Center, Southside Welding, along with King Ag Aviation in the Sudan area. Rhonda Myers is building an event center here in Milshu next to her home located on U.S. Highway 84 West. It will be known as the Desert Rose, and it is going up at the present time. Well, have you noticed that in the new series, 500 Questions, Ken Jennings, who has mule shoe roots from Jeopardy, is now on that program. And Ken Jennings' grandparents lived here in Milshu and operated on Avenue B in downtown Milshu many, many, many years ago a grocery store. He also has relatives here in the Milshu area over in Earth, Kathleen Hamilton, and right up in Lubbock, Betty Jennings of Lubbock, both formerly of Milshu, are his relatives. And he was only on four questions correct on the 500 questions. Ken Jennings of Muleshoe Roots, ABC is where that program is aired. Vacation Bible School will be held Monday, June the 6th through Thursday, June the 9th at the First Baptist Church here in Muleshoe every morning, 9 till noon. Now, right now, register your children four-year-olds through the fifth grade by calling or going by the First Baptist Church office at 220 West Avenue E. Actually, the office door is located over on West 3rd Street and West Avenue E. The office of the First Baptist Church is 806-272-4224 to get more information about Vacation Bible School at First Baptist Church, June 6th through the 9th, 9 till noon, for children 4 years old through the 5th grade. And be sure you register your children now. The theme for Vacation Bible School will be Cave Quest Following Jesus, the Light of the World. Breakfast for the public will be served on Saturday morning, June the 4th from 7 to 11 at the Onita Wagner Senior Citizen Center located at Main and Avenue D in downtown Milshu. It will be $5 for adults and $3 for children, and all money goes to our senior citizens here in Milshu. Now, they will serve pancakes, homemade sausage, bacon, all your favorite syrups, coffee, milk, and orange juice to drink. That is Saturday morning, June the 4th, 7 to 11, at the Onita Wagner Senior Citizen Center. And this is a money-making project by our senior citizens for the entire public at the center at Main and Avenue D. We want to say a big happy birthday to Wanda Schaefer, who's celebrating her birthday this week, and to John Stevens also. By the way, John and Margaret Stevens are our sweethearts on the program, our sweetheart program brought to you by Hereford Feed Ingredients. And you are invited to come and help John Stevens celebrate his 80th birthday this Sunday from 11.30 to 5 at the Earl M. Land Fire Station here in Milshu, right off of U.S. Highway 84 East here in Milshu. Please RSVP to dgazaway at etbroadband.net 
if you're going to come. And by the way, listen to this. Please, please, no gifts. They just want you to come by. Your presence will be the greatest gift. John Stevens, happy 80th birthday to you. And this is Sunday, this Sunday, May the 29th. 11.30 to 5 at the Earl M. Land Fire Station here in Millshoe. Lake Millshoe will have their Youth Fishing Day on Saturday, June the 4th. And that will be, of course, in our new city park. We'll be back with more Bargain Basement and also Mule Train News. Get ready for summer at Frying Cox 401 South 1st Street in Muleshoe and Farwell Hardware 305 Avenue A in Farwell with swimming pool supplies as they have in stock vacuum hoses, pool filters, chlorine clarifiers, shock and swim, and more. Frying Cox carries fishing supplies, bicycles, and bike supplies. Lots of games for summer fun like corn toss, beanbag game, golf toss, footballs, basketballs, and horseshoes. Wedding shower selections for Dow Whalen and Ashley Johnson available now at frying cox showers june the 11th get your yard and home ready for summer with chainsaws and blowers hedge trimmers and edgers hose end and tank sprayers sprinklers and a great selection of water hoses as well lots of mosquito repellent available at frying cox and firewall hardware by off cutter and repel make sure to be watching closely to frying cox facebook pages over the next several weeks they will be giving away great gifts at frying cox and mule shoe it's the end of the season and they're nearly out of plants so come by and get them while they last at frying cox 401 south first street in Muleshoe and farwell hardware 305 avenue a in farwell texas you're invited to the medical clinic of Muleshoe grand opening the construction dust has settled and the boxes are unpacked join the Muleshoe area medical center the clinic staff as they show off their new clinic space and welcome dr susan davis to the Muleshoe community it'll be wednesday june the 1st at 3 p.m ribbon cutting reception three until six in the afternoon enter through the south front door of the Muleshoe area medical center 708 south first street refreshments will be served everyone is invited to the medical clinic grand opening and dr susan davis wednesday june 1st at 3 p.m ribbon cutting reception follows from uh, 3 until 6 uh, go through the south front door at the mule sherry medical center 708 south first street refreshments will be served Mule Shoe basketball coach Brian Loera announces that the Mule Shoe Boys basketball camp for boys entering grades 3 through 9 will begin Tuesday, June the 7th and run through Tuesday, Thursday, June the 9th at Mule Shoe High School Gym. And you can submit your registration forms now. They are available through Coach Loera and also at the Milshu High School office, the Watson Junior High School, Mary D. Shazo and Dillman offices, Coach Lopez or Shelly Turnbow at Mary D. Shazo Elementary School. This is for boys entering grades three through nine. Boys Basketball Camp, Tuesday, June the 7th through Thursday, June the 9th at the Muleshoe High School Gym. Be sure and register now. Election Returns brought to you by K&K Pharmacy, The Dinner Bell Cafe, and Griswold's Moors and More. Bailey County voters favored Jody Arrington to replace Randy Nagabauer in the House of Representatives in Washington, just like the voters did in our entire 19th district on Tuesday in the runoff election in the Republican primary. There is no one running on the Democratic ballot in November's general election, so Jody Arrington will head to Congress in Washington to represent us with 54% of the vote over Glenn Robertson, who was the former mayor in Lubbock. And also, there will be an uh, election in November because 
in the Railroad Commissioner on the Republican primary, Wayne Christian won, and he will face uh, uh, will face Grady Yarbrough in the D- Democratic primary uh, runoff election. Yarbrough was elected statewide. Others on the Republican ballot elected for Judge Court of Criminal Appeals Place 2, Mary Lou Keel, and Judge Court of Criminal Appeals Place 5, Scott Walker, will be on the November ballot. And these election returns being brought to you through the courtesy of... The Dinner Bell Restaurant at 2103 West American Boulevard, where the Dinner Bell is always ringing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they have the best steaks in town, Javad says. Griswold's Moors and More, 516 North Highway 214. And they do more and trailer repairs. They buy, sell, and trade mowers and more and also carry batteries. Call Dale Griswold or his brother Donald at 806-566-9993, Griswold's Mowers and More. K&K Pharmacy has compounded a wonderful skin moisturizer called Ladies Perfect Skin. Go by 1411 West American Boulevard, K&K Pharmacy, and try this lotion. They have a tester there at the cash register that you can try, and you'll have to take it home with you. It only takes a little amount of the moisturizer. Apply at night or during the day, only a very thin layer. Dieter Isaacson at K&K Pharmacy says it's not just for women either. Men will appreciate the moisturizer. And at K&K Pharmacy, they're open 9 to 6 weekdays, Monday through Friday, where you don't have to wait in line for your prescription to be filled. Also, there is a drive through convenient window at 1411 West American Boulevard, K&K Pharmacy. Tell them I sent you. The Bailey County Relay for Life will be held Friday evening june the 3rd from 6 to midnight at the bailey county coliseum and they will have team competition lip sync entertainment games contests including a new contest the little miss and little mr relay contest it will be held at the civic center registration starts at nine in the morning and the uh, age divisions are 1 through 4, 5 through 7, 8 through 10. The contestant that raises the most money for the American Cancer Society will be crowned the winner. Prizes will be awarded. The winner of each age division will get to choose which team they want their donation to benefit. The crowning will be held at 8.30 on Friday night June the 3rd at the Civic Center. Also, for more information about the Little Miss and Little Mr. Relay Contest, call Rhonda Myers at 806-729-6374. Next week, you will see all of our videos that were made during the end of school, and including that will be on Channel 6 and also on our website, MuleshoeTV.com. The softball all-district selections for Muleshoe High School Lady Mills include the defensive most valuable player, Sasha Esparza, a senior. The first team all district pitcher Crystal Flores, a junior. Infielders Brittany Mendoza, a junior. Maria Rivulcaba, junior. And also second team all district softball Victoria Villalobos, a junior pitcher. Brooklyn Bell, a senior. Reagan Reynolds, a junior. 
outfielders. Honorable mention went to all district players. Outfielder Denise Ramirez, senior, and catcher Felicity Senior, a junior. Congratulations, girls. Ms. Ms. Jackie Claiborne of Mills, you have a new baby son born Monday afternoon at 416 in Covenant Medical Center uh, in Lubbock Lakeside Women's and Children's Hospital. Robbie and Jackie have named him Riker Deacon. At birth, he weighed six pounds and 15 ounces. And his grandparents here in Milshu are Dr. and Mrs. Joby Claiborne. Erin L. Kelly, daughter of Danny and Ricky Kelly of Milshu, graduated with a Ph.D. in Humanities from the University of Texas in Dallas. We must say congratulations to her. Marissa Williams of Sudan and Eric Ward of Anton married Thursday evening at 7 in the home of the bride's mother, Patty Newsom, in Sudan. The wedding was held on the bride's father, the late Dale Newsom's birthday. On your prayer list, remember... Ray Precure, Cleo Ward in the swing bed of the Milshuary Medical Center, and so is Margaret Adams. Also, Linda White of Farwell, Norberto Diaz Sr.'s family, 63 of Milshu, Evelyn Ellington, 87 of Milshu, Cassie Jean Benham, 97 of the Parkview Nursing Care Center. And please always remember in your prayers, little Reed Markle and all of his family. Hey, hey. Well, it is just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News brought to you today by the First Bank along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train News program rotating on Reach Broadband Channel 6 and find it on our a website free of charge on demand muleshoetv.com click on the mule train news link at the top center of the page i'm tumbleweed smith a collection of texaco toy vehicles details in a moment on the sound of texas and the sounds of texas are brought to you here on reach broadband channel six as well as muleshoetv.com by bailey county electric cooperative association with offices in muleshoe as well as in morton they're celebrating 76 years of rural electrification right in here in the muleshoe area through bailey county electric they're owned by the members they serve call 806-272-4504 or check them out online bcecoop Dot com. The board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle, all hope that you enjoy the Sounds of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. Charles Davis of Sweetwater worked in the oil business for a while, and he and his wife Susie started collecting Texaco toys. They're really nice. They came out around Thanksgiving every year with this replica of some of the um, old autos that the Texas company started with in the early 1900s. We started collecting them and got every one of them except for the first one. One year for Christmas, Susie had found it, which completed our collection of uh, all of the Texaco cars. I believe there's uh, 19 of them. My kids played with them, by the way, but we kept the boxes they came in. We've come from a long line of Susie's mom and my mom, antiquers. So if anything, you know, had a, a box and we were collecting, we would save the boxes. And what are those? The tank trucks? Or they started off, uh, I think, in the 1910s with uh, one of the old horse drawn up on the right. And they that was kind of like a little tanker on the back there. So they would have to go out to the um, oil field and gather the oil, whether it was sitting in a trench down there at Beaumont and then haul it to the refinery. You know, we were buying them at the Texaco filling stations. They were pretty easy to find, but sometimes uh, we'd have to, you know, search the state. They sat on an old piano that we had, an old upright piano. Everybody would comment whenever they would come in and say, oh, I love those Texaco cars and trucks. It was always an eye catcher, and uh, we thought, you know, this is going to be great. So it was sometime 
after we had acquired most of the cars, you know, and of course, well, we've got to have this, but then they stopped and they started with airplanes. We thought now's the time to put them behind glass and make a really nice eye-catching collection there. They kept a price on them in between $20 and $26. They're actually banks. They have a little uh, slot that goes in them and then a little key up underneath them. Charles Davis of Sweetwater. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the Sound of Texas. Time now for the market report brought to you today by Stephen DeMint, financial advisor with Edward Jones. Member SIPC, he's located right here in Muleshoe in his office at 104 West 2nd Street. Call 806-272-4102. Speak with Stephen or Branch Office Administrator Dana Rimpey. They can assist you with any of your financial needs. The market report was recorded this Friday, May the 27, 2016 at 11 a.m. This is Dana Rimpey of Edward Jones bringing you the Daily Financial Market Report. U.S. stocks are a little changed as investors look forward to a speech by Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen for clues on the timing of a U.S. interest rate hike. Her speech comes after a number of Fed policymakers this week struck hawkish tones on the trajectory of interest rates. In economic news, U.S. economic growth slowed in the first quarter as a surge in home building and steady inventory accumulation partially offset the impact of modest consumer spending and soft business investments. U.S. bond prices are edging lower. So far this morning in the S&P 500, the best performing sector is health care, while the worst performing sector is energy. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up 37 points to 17,865. The S&P 500 index is up 6 to 2,096, and the NASDAQ Composite Index is up 26 to 4,928. This morning, volume on the New York Stock Exchange is moderate with 282 million shares traded. Advancers are outnumbered decliners by roughly a 2 to 1 margin. In commodity markets, the spot price of gold is down $7 to 1212 The spot price of silver is down $0.09 cents to 1624 And crude oil prices are down $0.34 cents to 49.14. In bond markets, the 30-year Treasury yield is currently 2.64%. And the 10-year Treasury yield is 1.84%. In stocks of local interest, Procter & Gamble is up $0.20 cents to 81.42. Excel Energy is up $0.03 cents to 40.92. Pfizer is up $0.26 cents to 34.69. Walt Disney is up $0.62 cents to $100.43. Apple is down $0.41 cents to $100. Johnson & Johnson is up $0.16 cents to $113.06. Chevron is down is up forty nine cents to one hundred one ninety nine, and AT and T is down seven cents to thirty eight seventy seven. This is Dana Rimpey of Edward Jones, member SIPC, serving individual investors with personalized attention and long term financial advice at one hundred four West Second Street in Milshu. Daily commentary is also located on our website at edwardjones.com. And Stephen and Dana want to wish all our area graduates in the class of 2016 the very best of luck in your future to come. And they also remind you that they'll be closed at Edward Jones here in Muleshoe, 104 West 2nd Street on Monday for Memorial Day as all the stock markets are closed for that holiday.